So, as you guys know, we've been playing some old games here on Twitch. And I got suggested to play this. I've actually never played this, but I see that it's been around a while. And I think this was suggested by someone named Emily. So shout out to you, Emily. Shout out to you. We're gonna be playing this thing called Will You Press the Button? Basically, it's gonna give you a scenario, but then it's gonna add another piece of information onto it, okay? So let me show you an example. You can buy anything you want, but only for other people. And then you have to decide whether or not you're going to press the button and accept that scenario, or if you're not gonna accept that scenario, okay? But first, but first, in one of my other streams, I did this like sarcasm test where I got this list of phrases that are really hard to say without sounding sarcastic. And I told you guys, if you find any more of these lists to send them to me, because I think I have a naturally sarcastic sounding voice. So I think it's a little bit extra hard for me to do it. I see people in the chat saying, and you did so bad. So <laughs> they remember, and I did so bad. Well, anyway, Jade, shout out to you, Jade. Look, if you guys send me ideas or send me things, I'm going to, I'm I'm gonna give you guys shout outs personally. Personal shout out. Jade tagged me in a TikTok with even more phrases to try to say without sounding sarcastic. Here they are. There's more on this list. I think there's maybe one or two repeats from our last list, so we'll just skip over them, but this is, I'm already feeling a little bit nervous. It's looking a little daunting to me. And I'm gonna be honest, I'm not getting a lot of support in the chat. I see people saying, you're gonna fail, so. It's feeling even more daunting right now. Flopperina me thinks? I didn't even start yet and you're already calling me Flopperina. All right, let me do some vocal warm-ups. Mommy made me mash my M&Ms. Mommy made me mash my M&Ms. Mommy made me mash my M&Ms. <laughs> Unique New York. Unique New York. Red leather, yellow leather. Red leather, yellow leather. Rubber baby buggy bumpers. Rubber baby buggy bumpers. <laughs> Is that a real one or did you just make that up? Cause that sounds crazy. That's the first one I have not heard of before. Bruh, bruh, ma, ma. Okay, all right, now we're gonna start. That's great. <laughs> That's great. What do you mean bad, flop L? That's great. Oh my God, that's great. That one's good, that one was good. The last one was good. Have fun. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. That, <laughs> that has to be doable because people say that a lot and it doesn't sound sarcastic. So this has to be doable. <laughs> it sounds like you know something I don't. <laughs> Have fun. Have fun. Wait, no, that was so bad. I need everyone to erase that from their memories that I even said it like that. Oh my God, have fun. <laughs> Stop, I'm, I feel like I'm, I'm really trying here. Someone in the chat said it's getting worse, so I'm just gonna move to the next one. Fascinating. Fascinating. How about that? How about that one? Thanks for that. <laughs> oh my God, thank you for, okay, wait, wait, wait. Oh my God, thanks for that. Thanks for that. Thanks for that. Wow, thank you for that. Okay, that's fine. Like if you said thank you for that, that actually is a little bit more fine, don't you think? Well. <laughs> well done you well done you well done you oh that doesn't even sound like proper english the more i'm saying it um good good luck with that 
And what about that? That actually like, that was sounded like I cared a little bit. That sounded like I was worried. That sounds sad. Exactly, because I'm sad and worried. I'm sad and worried. Sounds, <laughs> I can't. I can't, I can't, I can't. My God, that sounds thrilling. That sounds thrilling. What about, yeah, like that. Sounds thrilling. Sounds thrilling. Oh my God. Okay, yes. Wait, I'm actually getting positive feedback. <sighs> what a shame. What a shame. What a shame. What a shame. I can't believe this happened to us. What a shame. <laughs> wow. 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 Wowie wow wow. Wow. Okay, so once again, I think I really did an amazing job here. Um, I'm just gonna not look at the chat. I'm just not gonna look. And once again, I'm gonna ask you guys if you see any other lists like this, or maybe you wanna make up your own list for me. I don't know, just uh, send it to me and we can do a sarcasm test at any time, okay? <laughs> I'm working on my sarcastic voice. Okay, I'm working on it. Me when I'm not working on it at all and I actually don't wanna change it, I like it. So now that we got that over with you guys, <laughs> let's, let's get on to what we're actually doing today for the stream. Back to our regularly scheduled programming. Will you press the button? And the one we have on screen right now, you can buy anything you want, but only for other people. Honestly, I feel like this is definitely, I'm gonna be pressing the button here because that would be amazing. You'd be able to give your friends and family like literally anything, anything you want. Why would you not press the button for this? <laughs> Someone in the chat is like, what, but what about me? <laughs> what if, I feel like you could get around this. Cause what if you buy something for your mom, for example, or whoever, and then they give it to you. That's an easy loophole of around this. Someone in the chat said, I buy my girlfriend a house and then it's my house too. Exactly, right? Like you can buy stuff like that as well. If you really are sitting here thinking, what about me? But what about me? Okay, I'm pressing the button. All right, 76% of people press the button. And in our chat, 89% of people press the button. Still a no from me. I hate giving and being nice to people, okay? <laughs> <laughs> you get $50,000, but someone you don't know will die. And then it says, do you really know your husband? What is that supposed to mean? Damn, this is like, this is morally wrong. I would feel so guilty. If I got $50,000 and someone died because of it, I just would feel so guilty about it, honestly. Even if I don't know them, even if it's a complete stranger, I, I if, if I had the knowledge that that was happening, it would just make me feel so bad. I don't know, I don't think I can press the button personally. Now, if it was millions of dollars, <laughs> I mean, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I still would feel the same way. I would just feel guilty. I feel like I would walk around for the rest of my life with that like on my chest. You know what I mean? Like someone died, you guys, someone died. I will not press the button, but my chat is pressing the button. 63% of them are. <laughs> 66% of people are pressing the button, okay. About two people die a second, that's true, that's true. But I don't know, knowing that like, it's directly related to you. Do you get what I'm saying? Am I, am I crazy for feeling this way? You win every game you play, but you can never use a phone. Hmm, this is very tempting to me because I probably lose every game I play. Personally, I'm not, you know, I'm not the best at winning games, but you can never use a phone, honestly. In this day and age with our technological advancements, it would, just, it would be hard to get by without using a phone, especially being a person on social media. So I will not press the button. I'm used to losing every game I play. It's not a big deal. 
I'm used to it. Let's do what the chat is saying. 94% of people are saying no. I mean, you guys are probably watching this right now on your phone. So what would you even do? I'm actually surprised how close this is to 50-50. You get to explore the universe and visit other inhabited planets, but you can never return to Earth. Oh, uh, wow. <laughs> um, <laughs> Wow, this one's making me nervous already. Guys, I'm not a big fan of like space and the universe because it, it, it really makes me scared. It's just very, you know, it's infinite. It's overwhelmingly infinite and it really scares me. Like people often ask the question, if you could go to space, would you? I will always say no to that. I'm, it, I would be way too scared. So the idea of visiting other places, I mean, sure. It sounds interesting, I guess, but it honestly sounds more scary to me. And you could never return to Earth. What if you get to these other planets and it's like the worst place ever? What if the aliens hate you? See, that's something to think about here. That's something to think about here. I will not, I will not. 76% of my chat will not as well. Ooh, wait, 47% of people wanna leave Earth and never come back. You gain amazing godlike powers, but you are forever trapped on a throne. I could care less about having godlike powers. I really could. And I have to sit in a chair for the rest of my life. Is the throne paper thin? That's a good question, Jackson. Is it paper thin? Because you guys know, I'm sitting in my paper thin chair. I have to put a blanket over it to mask how paper thin it is. Do you just sh yourself for eternity? That's another good question. I mean, I guess so. Well, they didn't say what type of throne it is. It could be, it could be a porcelain throne. The person in the chat who said I almost made that joke but deleted it. <laughs> As I was saying it, I was like, I can't. Like, I'm I'm saying a bad joke on purpose, but it was so bad. Like, I almost couldn't even finish speaking. But I'm trapped with doing live streaming. Like, once I start, I have to, you know, I kind of have to commit. I will not press the button. I don't care about godlike powers. And my chat agrees. 91% of people said no. Whoa. You can speak any language in existence, but you can never speak any you already know again. This is kind of interesting it's kind of crazy because you're trading like for me i speak english obviously and then i speak like a bit of spanish like i can understand spanish really well i don't know if that counts but it's essentially trading one language for every other language how will you talk with your friends and family that's so true like suddenly you wouldn't be able to communicate <laughs> with like anyone you know i think that alone that's actually enough for me to not press the button. Would make you get to know other people though? That's true. With all your new languages that you now know, you could make endless amounts of friends from all over the world because you speak every other language. But I mean, you have to actually make the friends. Just saying. You have to actually make the friends. So that's a little bit of a hump you have to get over. And what about your family? You know, like never being able to speak to your family. I think I'm gonna not press the button, but I definitely am tempted because I always say, and I always think that I wish we learned more than just English in America from a really young age. Like I know you get to take a language by the time you reach high school, but I wish they taught us languages when we were younger and our brains could absorb information easier because I think being able to speak multiple languages is such like a gift and such an amazing tool, but I'm not gonna press it. I'm not gonna press it. 62% of people did not press it. And in our chat, I think it was like 90% of people said no. Ooh, this is actually a really good one. You have the ability to pause time and move freely, but time will resume at a random point. This is actually really interesting. I honestly, I think I would press the button. I mean, it sucks that time will resume at a random point, but you get to pause time. I mean, just take, just fucking take it. Take it or leave it, right? Ooh, but what if it's paused for a year? I didn't think about it like that. I don't know why when I read this originally, I thought of time resuming quickly, like too quickly than you wanted. I didn't think about it in the sense of time resuming maybe a year from after you pause it. That's actually so scary. Or like 10 years or like 100 years. I think I changed my mind. 62% of people in our chat said yes, but everyone is saying 
I revoke my vote. How do I take it back? I pressed it too early. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to press the button. I don't think so. It's too scary. Like, damn, it's too scary. Well, 68% of people said yes. I'm obsessed with the idea of being able to pause time though. I just think that would be so useful. Cause sometimes like, I don't know, you know when you're like really stressing out about something and you're like wasting time because you're stressed out about it. It'd be really nice if you could just pause time in that type of moment. You can like get over the stress of it and then press play. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You can breathe underwater, but you're always wet. Get your head out of the gutter, chat. Okay, obviously they mean like wet as in you just got out of the swimming pool or out of the shower. I don't know about that. I don't need to breathe underwater, honestly. I'm gonna say no. 87% of our chat said no, and 61% of these people said no. You get your dream job, but you don't get any vacation days. This is just like America core. This is literally just like America core. This is like a reality. Ooh, someone in the chat said, what if your dream job is traveling? What an interesting loophole, huh? Cause you're always on vacation because your dream job is traveling, but you'd still technically be working in all the places you're traveling to. I mean, I don't know what you're doing there for your traveling, but low key that kind of is my dream job to just travel the world and do whatever. But then you'd never be home, huh? But you travel home. What about, what if my dream job is to travel the world and go home between each location? That's my dream job. So if that's, that's my dream job, I'm pressing the button. <laughs> Oh my God, 63% of people said yes. They must have had the same idea as me. Chat said 60% no. You'll always know what time it is, when you have to go to events, when birthdays are, anniversaries, etc. But this involves a chip inside your brain that can possibly be used to track your location at all times. I don't care. This is, <laughs> I don't care if people track my location at all times. Is that just me? Like, you know, people are so worried about their privacy. They're like, oh my God, the government's watching me. Like they know where I am right now. It's like, and why would they care where you are right now? Like, why would they care actually? Like, what are you doing? But I don't know. I feel like this isn't like good enough for a chip inside my brain. That's the part that I don't like. I don't like the idea of having a chip inside my brain. That just feels way too like futuristic and scary. And I feel like it would cause an issue. Honestly, no. If the chip, if the chip did something more for me, like if it was like, I can fly with the chip in my, my brain, I, or I can teleport, I'm saying yes. But just to know what time it is, like get, just put a watch on, no. 57% of people said no. Our chat said 64% no. Ooh, wait, I was just talking about teleportation. You can travel to any location, anytime, and any alternate reality you can imagine by teleportation, but you have thousands of intergalactic enemies always attempting to destroy you. Who are these intergalactic enemies of mine? Intergalactic enemies. Who am I? Like, I'm like a superhero and thousands is just insane. Like I have thousands of enemies trying to destroy me, but you can travel to any location, anytime or any alternate reality. You could just always teleport around and escape your intergalactic enemies. This is getting a little too superhero for me. There's a thousand people in chat right now. You guys are my 1000 intergalactic enemies. Honestly, I just don't want to deal with the stress of my thousands of intergalactic enemies. That's just a little too stressful for me. Ooh, 63% of people said yes. They don't care about their intergalactic enemies. 52% of our chat said no. <laughs> okay. You can hear what animals are thinking, but your hearing radius is huge. You can listen to animals miles away. You can't stop hearing their thoughts. <laughs> That's so funny actually, but I do want to know what animals are thinking. I really do want to know what animals are thinking. It does seem a little invasive though, if I'm listening to all animals within miles and miles of my radius. Like, damn, do I really need to hear all that? It would be pretty chaotic. And think of all the animals like just in your vicinity. Like I have like squirrels in my backyard, like birds. There's animals everywhere. Bugs count. Okay, someone in the chat just made the rule that bugs count. Now I'm definitely not saying yes to this because there's bugs everywhere. I'm gonna say no, just because you can't stop hearing their thoughts. Like it's just, it'd be too much all the time. 74% of chat says no. 68% of these people say no. You gain arms as strong as an old sturdy oak, but you gain the legs of a seagull. Um, no. Why would I need arms as a, strong as an old sturdy oak? I will not, okay? 
95% of my chat will not either. And 76% of these people will not. We will not. We will not have arms as strong as an old sturdy oak and legs of a seagull. You can fully understand every scientific theory, but you'll never lead a normal life again. What is that supposed to mean? You'll never lead a normal life again. I'm okay with not understanding scientific theories. And this is really fucking ominous. I don't like the way that this sounds. My God, 56% of people press the button. What the hell? 57% of our chat said no. You can bring to life and interact with any fictional character from any movie, book, game, etc. But only you know of their existence and nobody believes you if you tell them about it. So this is just like hallucinating, honestly. But you're not. That's true. You're not because they're actually there, but no one believes you. So everyone else would think that you're hallucinating. I have to be honest. I can't think of a fictional character I would necessarily want to bring to life and interact with. 91% of you guys said yes. Honestly, I'm gonna say no. I know a lot of you guys said yes, but I'm gonna say no. 87% of people said yes. <laughs> okay, I actually wanna know what you guys would say for this. You can be best friends with your favorite celebrity, but you will never see your current best friend again. Damn, are you guys trading your current best friend for your favorite celebrity? <laughs> People in the chat saying bye bestie. I'm gonna have to say no personally, but I mean, it is a little tempting. I will not. Oh my God, 60% of people said no. I don't know why I thought more people would say yes to this. 59% of the chat said yes. All right, let's, let's do one more. You will be able to live 100 years longer, but you don't get any jokes and will never laugh again. You will never laugh again. Wait, that's actually crazy. That's actually crazy. Never laughing again. Damn, like what's the point of even living for an extra 100 years if you literally never laugh and you don't understand any jokes? Like, what are you even doing for the extra 100 years? Uh, this is a hard no for me. Not only would I not want to not laugh, but I don't even want to live for an extra 100 years because then you would outlive everyone in your life. So it would just be, the, this is like the, the most miserable scenario ever, I think. You would outlive everyone in your life and you'd never laugh again. <laughs> like, <laughs> I will not. 74% of people said they won't. And 96% of our chat said that they won't. All right, guys, those are all the buttons we're gonna be pressing. I actually don't even think I pressed that many buttons, but um, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Please let me know what other nostalgic things you want to see me do next. I have a lot of things written down on a list, but I'm constantly adding to it. So please leave a comment down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye, YouTube.